someone is going to be a serious jackpot winner. The jackpot for Powerball hit 400 million bucks. The drawing is tomorrow. Hard to believe. It's, it's going to be one of the biggest in history, 403 million to be exact. Whoever wins uh, gets to take the lump sum uh -huh. or uh, they can be paid out over 29 years. Do you have a, a preference? Would I you... would take all the money, the lump sum, yeah. right, uh, right, right up front. Up yeah, and it comes out to around $244 million. That's not, not too bad. So right. bad. I mean, I, you could live off that. You could maybe get by <laughs> with that. Now, now, what would you do with that money? I would travel the world and travel? never stop. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. How, how many houses would you buy? I don't know. I really like my house. How many houses would you buy me? I would help you out. How many houses would you buy our viewers? <laughs> no, no, really. Would, would you share it with anybody? I mean, of course. I mean, big... I'm sure that I'd find, I'd donate it. Yeah, that's a lot of money. You yeah. probably don't need all that. Probably not. I mean, once you get to that point, it's like maybe not. <laughs> her true colors not shining true. through. Of course, you would, you would yeah. donate some of that. But That'd yeah, nice. imagine everyone likes to dream. W would you still host CT Style? Absolutely. That's the big question. Oh, I like sitting thank, next to you thank every you. Day. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. I don't know if I'd wake up Glad at three o'clock in the morning, but yeah. I would definitely want to host CT Style. Yeah, why not? Why not? All right. Hey, uh, this morning, if you've logged on to Facebook already, or maybe last night, you might have noticed that now you can apply for jobs on Facebook, which is kind of cool. It's like, what, what One else? One-stop shopping. Yeah. Everything you need is right there. Do they have a dating app? Can you date through maybe Facebook? Maybe that's next. Maybe we can start a new huh. little biz. We're, we're going to be talking about dating here in just a little bit, uh, but let's stay on the track of jobs. If, if you scroll down, there's a little briefcase. Okay. That's what you click on to apply for the jobs. I, I guess it's more like mom and pop type of stuff, local mm -hmm. businesses that you can apply for. Uh, but Stephanie Simone earlier this morning found some interesting jobs that you can find on the website. If we see here, it takes about 15 minutes to sign up. Uh, there was a job for a massage therapist in Canton, a West Harvard sales rep, and a cashier in Newtown. There you go. I like that. I mean, you're on Facebook anyway. Might as well Why not use it? Check yeah. It out. So get this. A little girl from Alabama has turned her experience with her little brother into a popular book. She's hoping it will help other kids just like her. It's about how to take care of a, of a sibling. Oh, that's cute. That's the author, eight-year-old Nia Reese. She named her book, Ready Rye, okay. How to Deal and Care for Your Annoying Little Brother. Oh, come on, really? <laughs> Her teacher gave uh, the kids an assignment asking them what they were good at or what made them an expert. The little bro has even made an appearance at one of his sister's book signings. So, so she's a pro. She knows how to deal with them. I guess Apparently. so. She must keep an eye on them. Yeah, it's, it's kind of sad though, Teresa. I, I did see this last night on Amazon. I'm a little hurt by this. How to deal... <laughs> I did not write that book. Why would you write a book about your annoying co -host. I would never do that. That's put, funny. That's you. There is a picture it. of you on that book. Available for Amazon. I, I think you should pay people to read that book. I don't think they should pay for it. All lies. Oh, lies, I tell you. That is lies. Not true. No. All right, well, this is a fun story. We all love our office vending machines filled with candy bars and soda, right? Yeah. But there's a new vending machine that takes things up a notch. It's yeah. true. We're heading to Las Vegas. They revealed the very first champagne vending machine. How cool is that? It's stocked with 320 mini bottles of uh, the good stuff, Moet, right? I've had this conversation with seven people this morning. Is it what? Moet or is it Moet? It, well, Biggie Small says Moet. 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 It's like a whisper. You Moet. say the T because oh. it has the two dots over it. Oh, so that's why. If it didn't have the two dots, it would be Moet. But wh since it does, where it's did Moet. One, wh where did you learn this? Uh, I asked food experts. I called my mom. I did some Google searching. <laughs> uh, awesome. I didn't want to say it incorrectly. Well, well, okay, well, let's say it on the count of three. One, two, three. Moet. Moet. But, it's right. like a what? We, we, still, we still got to work on it. She's going to be doing whatever she's doing over here. Uh, but now you can, it's only 20 bucks. You, you can yeah, you got to get a coin. And you, so they check your ID. You have to get a mm -hmm. coin at the front desk. And then that's it. You could get your little bottle for 20 bucks. Can we get one in here uh, in the studio? I don't think that's going to work That would be out. nice. It, it's only sparkling <laughs> cider guys there's no <laughs> champagne in there of course all right in that we're chatting about bubbly let's talk a bit about romance today yes. we're, we're talking all about men paying on the first date <laughs> is, is this a, re a required thing absolutely yes without question okay well most people do agree with miss Teresa a new survey <laughs> found that 78 percent of people think that men should pay on the first date that included 85 percent of men and surprisingly fewer women 72 percent of women say hey guy doesn't have to necessarily pay uh, but when asked how much they should spend they said 25 to 49 dollars that's what the ladies said but guys said that they're willing to spend more tough to go out for dinner for just 25 bucks well you're a you're not a cheap dude, then, I'm just girl. Saying. But wouldn't like you're Ruth on a first Chris, date with a girl? I want Ruth, Chris. I I'm want Moet, Moet. I want three bottles of Moet. 
You know? You know what I mean? Wouldn't you be offended if you asked a girl on a date and then she would want to pay at the end? Well, yeah, that, that would be a little awkward. Yeah. I think it's like the thing to do. You have to be a gentleman At least the it. first like six or seven times. Six or seven? And then switch it up. I think it's six fair. Six or seven? Is, is that the... Because Brandon told me it was like 15 or 16. I don't know about this whole six or seven thing. I think I've never paid for anything. Must He's be a good nice. guy. Must be nice. Uh, anyway, so now you can buy Snapchat <laughs> spectacles online. Uh, yeah, maybe he'll buy these for you too. <laughs> Snap, uh, which operates Snapchat, says its spectacles are now available online at spectacles.com for 130 bucks. So basically, it's what a pair of, pair of sunglasses that you put on, and then you can see Snapchats. Uh, so you're, you're you don't essentially need to look taking. At your phone? No, you you look at the phone as the monitor, but those are mini cameras inside of the spectacles. You're you're like an Austin Powers of. Wow, that's kind of cool. Kind of guy, and of course, there's a new filter out today. I don't know if you guys have seen this yet. Take a look. Let's see. Oh man, <laughs> are, are you Peter, Chris, or who's the one with the tongue? That's you. That's, that's Gene Simmons. That's, that's my you. real tongue. Yeah. Wow. No, not my that's real great. tongue. That's yeah. great. Anyway. All right, so let's talk about.